Some people may say, oh, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. You know, there are two places in the book of Psalms that the Holy Spirit wrote through David. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. You know what God says about the atheist? He says, you're a fool. I didn't say that. God said that. Right here in the King James Bible. You give me a few minutes, I'll open the Bible, I'll show you where it says it. In two places. The Bible says that an atheist is a fool. And fools die and go to hell. You are a fool to reject God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you don't fear God, you have no wisdom, you're not wise, you're a fool. It's foolish. It is foolish to reject God and to reject heaven. It is foolish at the preaching of Jesus to walk away and still be lost. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Atheism described in the Bible. An agnostic will say, well, I don't know. Well, come and we'll show you. Stop unknowing and come to know God. Ignorance is not bliss. And you can never say, God, I never knew when you hear a preacher says that Jesus saved. We give you no excuse anymore for you have heard that Jesus saves. You can never say, I never knew, I never heard. When you hear a loud mouth preacher preaching at a farmer's market on a Saturday morning that Jesus saved. Agnostic, you cannot say, I don't know. You have heard, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. When you hear the preaching of the gospel, that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the scriptures, you can never tell God, I don't know. I never heard it. When you have heard the preacher say, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, you can never tell God, I never knew. You cannot say, I'm an agnostic. You have heard. There is no agnostic when you hear the preaching of the gospel. It's either believe it and be right and be saved. Or is to reject it and be a fool. And fools despise God. And fools do not go to heaven. When you hear the preaching of a preacher from a King James Bible, the gospel of Jesus Christ, you are without excuse. Because you have heard the very words of life. You have heard the invitation. Well, I'm waiting for the preacher to give an invitation. I'm waiting for the altar call. Now, 
You don't need an altar. You don't need an invitation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's your invitation. That's your altar. You can do it kneeling, you can do it standing, you can do it sitting, you can just call upon Jesus and be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. It's that simple. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. I heard a person over here say, every week he preaches, every week it's Jesus. You're a fool to reject Jesus every week. When you know what is being preached, and you hear about Jesus, and every week you say, no, every week you reject it, the fool has said in his heart, that's no God, you're a fool. I didn't say that, God said that. Give me time, I'll show you right in the scriptures. And you can't say I don't know, you've heard so. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no access to the Father but by Jesus. And if you hear the same message, and I know you hear the same message every week, and you reject, you're the fool. I can't imagine standing before God condemned one day and saying, God, I never knew. Fool. That man was there every week preaching Jesus out of your own mouth and you rejected it. You're without excuse. You can never say, God, I never knew. When the preacher said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You now know. You're not an atheist no more. You're not an agnostic. You have heard the preaching of Jesus. You're without excuse. You can believe or you can reject. But you can never say, I don't know. I didn't know. God is faithful. He says, go into the world and preach the gospel. He didn't say win them. I don't save you. All I do is plant and water. God gives an increase. I'm doing what God told me to do. Preach the gospel. Are you doing what God wants you to do? Believe in the gospel. Or are you doing what Satan wants you to do? Reject the gospel. You see, God wants you to believe. Satan wants you to reject. Satan will tell you, don't listen to the preacher. God tells the preacher, preach. Just preach. I'm not here to save your soul. I'm here to preach the gospel. God will save your soul. I'm faithful right now doing what God tells me to do. How about you? Where do you stand? But I'm telling you, with the preaching of the gospel, you are no more an agnostic. There is no more. I don't know. You know. You're either an atheist or you're a believer. You're either foolish or you're wisdom. The fool has said in his heart, there's no God. You don't want to believe in Jesus? You say there's no God. Or you can believe and fear God and be right with God to, be, to fear the Lord to begin the wisdom. It's your choice.
You have that option. Your option is to reject or believe. I ain't going to force you. God ain't going to force you. It's called free will. You can do what you want. Now, God would like you to believe, but it's up to you. God has sent a faithful preacher to preach the gospel. God has suffered and died for you. The scriptures say, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Now, are you going to believe or are you going to reject? That's up to you. And if you believe, you go to heaven. If you reject, you go to hell. That simple. Well, preacher, I want a purgatory. Purgatory is not in the Bible. Preacher, I want a Von Hala. That's not in the Bible. Well, preacher, I die, I'm going to get virgins. No, you're not. You're going to get flames of hell. That's a lie of hell. Allah is a lie. Religion is a lie. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Come and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Come and reject the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be condemned, damned, torment at the preaching of the Bible by a preacher and you still reject, fool. It's a foolish thing to hear, as the gentleman said, every week he's here preaching. It's a fool to end up in hell after you heard preaching week after week after week after week about Jesus. You're a fool. I didn't say that. The Bible said that. The fool has said in his heart, there's no God. If you don't believe in Jesus, you say there's no God. You're a fool. You don't fear God. The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. If you fear God, if you reverence God, you will put your faith and trust in Jesus. But since you don't, you're a fool. I didn't say the Bible. King James Bible. Now you're going to go home. Oh, the preacher called me a fool. No, the Bible called you a fool. The preacher only preached and taught out of the scriptures. I know the Bible, you know, that's not in churches today. That's why we got to preach on the streets. Because you're not going to get the Bible in the churches today. Some of you are ready to, to, to drop dead to be, oh, I hear hell. You haven't heard hell in your church in years. But there is a hell. All is not well. There is a hell. And you'll go there rejecting Jesus Christ. But if you want to be saved, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. How much are those? Jesus saves. The devil condemns. The devil damns while Jesus saves.